Navigating D2L is a fairly easy task once you learn a few key tools that aid in the process. In this lesson, we will look at these tools, which are the minibar, settings, pencil tool, drop downs, widgets, and navbar. So let's go to D2L and take a look. Right now, we are looking at a typical D2L interface. On the very top of the screen rests the mini bar. On this bar, you will find a link to your homepage in D2L. You can access your classes and then pin them to the top of the menu by clicking on the pin tool over here on the right. You can also view email messages. You will receive updates for specific items like grades, Dropbox deadlines and quizzes, and you can subscribe to discussions that will notify you when something has changed. On the far right of the mini bar, you can also view your profile right here. You can view your account settings and you can log out. Finally, this little gear here on the mini bar at the far right shows you what tools are related to your particular preferences. As we look below the mini bar, you can see the navigation for D2L. On top, you have access to your calendar and your locker. The locker is where you can store course files that are available to you in any course that you find yourself in throughout the interface. Next to the logo, you'll also see the title of the class that you are currently in. When you first log in, it'll say Colorado Northwestern Community College. In this example, I am in the class OMG D2L for instructors. This is important to notice so that you are not adding the wrong content to a class. Below the logo, you will see Course Home, Content, which is where you place your course content, graded items that includes the Dropbox, quizzes, rubrics, discussions, and attendance, communication tools, which are the class list, email, groups, blog, and chat, and finally grades, which is where you input, make, and distribute your grades. At the far right, you will also see edit course, which is where you can access additional tools for teaching, and another logout button. Under the navbar, we have what is called widgets. Widgets are pieces of information that display different tools in D2L. For instance, on this page I'm looking at a widget for news items, I'm looking at a widget for course signals, which allows us to track student progress, I'm looking at a widget for calendar that will display upcoming events, and I'm looking at a widget for my settings. Feel free to go in and change your profile under my settings. It's always a good idea to show a picture of yourself and maybe something that is important to you. Finally, I want to bring your attention to the drop down and pencil tools. In this example, I am within my course content for OMG D2L. If you roll over this particular area, you'll notice that a little pencil shows up. This allows you to edit the module title in this particular module. However, that pencil can show up in many different places. So if you're trying to edit something, I would highly suggest you roll over and see if the pencil tool shows up. If it does, then there's something that you can do. The second is this drop-down. Now you notice that there's many options for this drop-down, and these drop-downs exist throughout the entire interface. Always look for the drop-downs when you're navigating through D2L to see if there are other options. If I go here into my grades item, I'll see here's another drop-down. Um, over here under my class list, if I go to my class list, you'll see that there's drop downs next to different names. I can view their profile, I can view their progress, 
I can view their blog if they have one, if they have any group enrollments. So this is a really important feature to be aware of. Always be aware of the drop-downs and what tools are accessible through the drop-downs. And when that little pencil tool shows up, you can also have the option of editing. Finally, this tool right here called settings that looks like a gear is really important throughout the entire interface. In class list, when I click on settings, I can see what is displayed in the class list. But when I go to grades and I click on settings, I will see other options. Don't forget to see that there's other tabs often when you're looking at information in D2L. Um, but it is really important to know about the pen tool, pencil tool, the drop down, and that settings tab.